My favorite character of Jim's is uh, sitting behind me. It's uh, Ralph the dog. And Ralph was actually created for a Purina dog chow commercial in 1962. Most people don't know he was created for television commercials originally. And um, that's just sort of a fun thing to find out. And I, I love the story of Ralph. He really touched in, on so many aspects of Jim's career as it developed. In the beginning, he was more intrigued with television than he was with puppets. He really just loved the media. It was the new media then. So what he realized right away when he started working is that a puppet can fill the screen. Shoot! Anybody else? Just like a human face can fill a screen. And he felt that a puppet done right, big like that, could be stronger than an, a human face. Jim Henson felt that television was a magical vehicle in which he could create new worlds. Zany creatures could bebop to jazz, animals could play drums, an odd couple could teach us about friendship, and fraggles could help us appreciate our differences. The full face puppet doing small gestures have, have a great intimacy with the person watching at home so that he realizes that the puppets on television could come right in and be your friend, your, the guy, the person who comes and has a chat with you at night. You know, it's a very intimate kind of relationship that I don't know that puppets ever did before, Jim. On camera, the characters became friends and celebrities. Behind the scenes, designers, writers, animators, and performers collaborated to bring Jim Henson's characters to life. In the midst of all the magic were Jim Henson's children. Growing up, I had opportunities to go and um, visit him in these amazing worlds that he was creating. He was working on Sesame Street, and there's this series called Tales from Muppet Land, which I loved so much. So some of those are some of my favorite things from when I was very young. At a certain point, then he, he got Muppet Show, then he went to go shoot it in London. And so we would take visits over to London, and then eventually we actually lived in London for a period of time. That's when I really got to go and go to the set on a regular basis. and. It was very, very exciting just to see these whole worlds getting created and to see the guest stars come into town and then do all the, the pieces with the, the characters and to see that activity of what was the dynamics of what was going on on the soundstage and then what wound up on camera. It was a really exciting world to grow up in. 